Um, if you had an account on our old Moodle site, uh, version 1.9, and now you're trying to log into our new one, uh, version 2.3, it can be a little bit confusing the first time because um, you have to reset your password, and um, uh, it usually takes people about two or three times at least to figure that out. So I'll just go through it with you here. First of all, use your regular login to try to log in. And what will happen is when you hit the login button, uh, you'll get an, an error message that says um, that the account was imported from another server and the password has been lost. Uh, to set the new email, please click continue. So I'll click continue here. Now you'll see that um, all this message says is that basically an email has been sent to your uh, email. And hopefully when you check your email, you'll see something from admin user. Now, if it doesn't show up within like 30 seconds, it's probably being filtered through, um, you know, maybe into your junk uh, filter or folder if you have one or spam filter. Um, uh, usually that's where the problem lies. So um, hopefully you've got it. Now, if you do get it, um, you'll see that the email just tells you to uh, confirm that this, um, and confirm that you want to change your, your new password. And so you just click this and that confirms that you want to change it. So you haven't changed it yet, you just confirm it, yes, uh, it's me and I want to um, change the password. So we click that link there and you see that um, the, um, basically the system now knows that you want to change it. So now they, they're giving you another message saying, okay, we've sent you an email with a temporary password in it. And if you click continue here, um, login screen, but you don't really know what your new password is yet, so it doesn't really help you a lot. So I'll go and look in your email again. And you'll see there's another uh, email waiting for me from the admin user, and I'll just click on that and see what it is. Um, okay, so they tell you the user login, and they give you this weird password here. Um, because it's got all these, could have all sorts of weird characters in it, I find that it's just easier if you... So, okay, I'm going to copy that. And now I can use that to log in. And what I'll do is I'll go, I'll use this link to get to a different login page than the one you just saw. Um, i get back to this login page, or you can just go back to the one you, you opened. And, and we'll just paste that goofy-looking password that they gave us there. And we'll click login. And I'm not going to remember this one because... Ah, so now we should get to this thing here, and what we can do is we can, again, paste the temporary password and, and then uh, pick something that would be really easy to remember. And that's it. So from that point on, you should be able to use your regular login, and um, uh, your password has been changed, and you should have access to your courses. Thanks.